everyone, Amanda here. I'm sharing my very first full completed um, design team project for Artie Mays. I'll leave a link in the description box below to her Etsy shop where you can purchase these beautiful digits that I've used and also there's heaps more. Um, I'll also leave a link to her Facebook page where you can join and share uh, what you've created using her digitals, etc. And it's a it's a lovely, nice um, community she's got there. So <coughs> I use the Moenna, I think I'm saying that right, mermaid um, kit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful images. And that particular mermaid is um, born, it, it, there is a true folklore, um, well, true and folklore, <laughs> you know what I mean. There's actual folklore surrounding that character down in Cornwall and there's a like a plaque and a whole um, web uh, page description of what it's all about if you want to go and look her up. One of my friends did send me the link. If I can find it, I'll leave it in the description box below. It's just she was a real mermaid. <laughs> anyway, so I, this is a soft cover journal. Um, I've made the cover... Um, out of cat, very thick cardstock, um, sewn together. Um, as you can see, it's just nice and soft. I've not done loads of layers, but it has all been protected um, on the front and the spine and the back with acrylic wax, so it should help strengthen the spine and stop any kind of damage or uh, whatever. Um, so I've done loads of sponging because the cardstock I chose was a little bit of a bright colour. I've decoupaged on a fussy cut um, image from the kit and then I have added this applique that I've fussy cut from a large sheet of it that I had given from here so I've fussy cut them from this beautiful piece that I was gifted and just arranged them in like a border. I've also painted over the ladies with this new iridescent medium that I've got and so you might not see but I wanted to give them a shimmer because obviously mermaids are shimmery with the scales so there is a shimmer to that image there. I've got some um, organza lace and some lovely sparkly beads um, the beads are actually bookmarks, they're loose with inside the book so you can use them and the organza is just tied onto the back page. So we've got a seam binding, clo not a seam binding closure, we haven't, I'm lying. We've got <laughs> an eyelet closure there and I've used this beautiful ribbon which I had given. I like to use bits and bobs that I get given in my journals. Um, so this is a bit, it was wired but I took the wire out because it was uh, poking out and I didn't want anybody to hurt themselves. So I took the wire out but it's this beautiful deep kind of teal colour with gold um, and the, the gold pattern is actually leaves. Um, so I just thought that that was really beautiful deep rich colour. So we open the front page. Um, so I turned down the colour of the cardstock which was a little bit bright for my liking with some... Um, sea sponge and gesso and some other inks to make it look like the sea. I was trying to make it look like sea foam I suppose. So the first page here we've got this beautiful digital image that I've used onto my um, tea dyed paper. I've put pearls in her hair and we've got a small cluster there of the um, applique. It's sewn all the way around. On this page we've got a fabric ruffle here with silk seam binding. It's not silk seam binding, I keep saying that, sari silk. And then this is a pocket, so uh, with a journaling card there with another image, um, Isla and a dangle. Okay, so that's just a pocket. Put that in there. Next page, I don't know how many pages there are in here, you'll have to count. Next page is a bit of stamping, I've done a cluster here using Ticket from the kit. Bit of music paper, this is um, some background paper from a different kit. And then I've just added this little mini journaling card that I had. I just had this kicking around on my desk, so I turned it into a little journaling card. And we've got a little mini tuck spot there. We've got pearls. I've used pearls throughout, you know, mermaids, pearls, all that. Uh, <laughs> this is a glassine bag. I have stamped on it, I've inked on it. We've got... Um, Pearl um, medium stuff on there. We've got pearls. It says hidden treasures, and there's two little 
journaling cards in there and that is backed on this is a digital image page okay turn it over I've dyed the back of it uh, so we printed on the back with a coffee dye print done some inking this page here I have created a double pocket just with book pages so all I've done is got a book page and literally filled it folded it kind of in half turn it onto the page and it creates a pocket at the back there and we've got this from the kit little mermaid story okay into a journaling card and then this side here has got another journaling card and we've got some index cards there as well held on with a paper clip for journaling and then I just decorated with some tickets so I've left that side plain for writing but every page at least has got inking and I have used the sponge a lot and just added little bits of colour here and there. This is an envelope, okay, I've done lots of um, ink smooshing, I did some stamping with bubble wrap, we've got some texture paint on there, I've uh, fussy cut and glued on this little mermaid here and we've got the saying be still and listen the earth is singing and in here we've got a hand, totally handmade journaling card that I just made by playing with stamps and bubble wrap and whatever have you. Okay, so that goes in there. This is another page from the kit. I have used my new ruler that my, one of my friends gifted me. And it's, uh, what is it? Creative Expressions Decal Edge Ruler. Um, so it's got two kinds of rips. So then you just hold it on the page and it creates a nice a nice rip for you. And I've done quite a few ripped pages because to me it reminded me of like treasure maps. I don't know. I have these ideas in my head when I'm making journals. I have a bit of a story going. So mermaids, pirates, treasure maps. So I've, I've done a worn edge. And then we've got some wavy sewing in blue thread. And on the back here I've just lined the edge there with some decorative paper. You can see the sewing. I've left all of the threads hanging. So there's all threads dangling down. And we've got another cluster there with uh, some background paper, music paper ticket and doiler. This is another pocket I made from the, um, from the images. I just uh, added some pearls there that look like air bubbles. And then so that's all been sewn. And in the side here, just held on with this little clip. It's just a little notebook that I made just out of um, bits of paper that I dyed using um, brushes. I uh, just made a little topper there and sewed it with my sewing machine and then just added a ticket for a bit of fun. Okay, we've got this postcard and then I've just added a little bit, a little butterfly, which isn't very mermaid -y, but I was using up little bits and bobs on my desk. Okay. So if I've got random things lying about on my desk, as I'm making a journal, they will end up in that journal. <laughs> so don't leave anything lying about on my desk, it'll go in a book. And this one is just left plain, bits of inking all around to look like a sea, or sea themed colours. And then here we've got a page with an envelope flip. So I've got a decorated paper clip. All I've done there is just added one of the tickets. I have backed it on um, coffee dyed paper. I've added the word soulful and some pearls and then this flips. So you could put things on there or journal on it. And again, I just uh, ink smooshed it and did it with um, uh, bubble wrap. We've got a beautiful, she's lovely, isn't she? Um, and some lovely fibres, lovely and soft, all different coloured fibres there. So she goes in the back, so you can put what you want in there, and then it flips like that. We've got the word, the earth has music for all those who will listen. And I like that, because mermaids sing, don't they? They sing beautifully, apparently. Don't know, I've never seen one, but there you go. And then, <laughs> so this one again has just been um, sponge uh, dabbed in different colours. Another image, lovely. Um, I've ripped that all the way on all four sides. I have inked all the way around and we've got this lovely wavy sewing again and I've left the tails on there. It's beautiful. I was going to go back over and do another one but it, it would just add in time on and it, it's already taken me about three weeks to make this journal in between working so this one here i've done some um like nautical rope stamping we've got some seagulls going on there we've got a lighthouse and then i've added some gesso and on the bottom here we've got some cheesecloth it's meant to look like the sea and like she's coming out of the sea uh, with that little mermaid fussy cut there and then we've got an anchor and the word dream okay um 
I don't know if that'll pick up on camera, but yeah, we've got the, the cheesecloth there to look like the foam on the waves. Um, and then on this side we've got this lovely little mermaid again, the word magical, some more cheesecloth. And I've done some um, sponging again to try and blend her in to make it look like she's just sat in the sea. And then on this page here we've just got an envelope, a little um, ticket again with a paper clip and on there we've got a mermaid and this is just a little die cut that I had. There is a journaling card in there as well and we've got the wavy sewing. So this is another uh, part of the kit. I fussy cut it, I've sewn it and backed it onto tea dyed paper to make it thicker and then it, it does open both sides if you wanted to and then in there we've just got an image that I found on Pinterest and a journaling card from the kit. It just slides in there like so and then I've just got this little bulldog clip with the seahorse on. And then on this side we've got this uh, pocket that I made out of some foiled paper and moustache that I just thought were nice colours. The word Imagine Every Possibility, um, which is from a free sheet in Andrea's Facebook group. We've got a little bit of a pocket here out of um, just a scrap of music paper that I found on my desk. I just turned it into a little pocket and then we've got two tickets there um, that will just fold out. If I glued them shut, and you could just you could just write in there. But it's just a bit of fun. It just slides in there like so. And then in the top here, I've got another image there that I found on Pinterest. And then I've made another little booklet. So uh, we've got this little money wallet. There's nothing in it, but you could put something in it. And I've done some stenciling. And then we've got another cluster there that I've left as a tuck spot. And then we've got some. Um, Brusher dyed papers there, so that slides in there like so. I've left that one plain again, we can just see the sponging effect and the sewing. And this one here, I made a belly band out of that lovely metallic kind of paper. I just love that colour. And then one of the pages I turned into a flip like that. I ripped all the edges, sponged it all, linked it all so you can write in there. Okay, but that is one of the uh, pages from the kit. Okay, let's see if I can get it back in. Okay, and then this uh, here is from the kit as well. Fussy cut it, inked it, put it on some card. We've got the wavy stitching again. Then here's one of the lovely flip outs, so you undo it all, and it all undoes, and you can journal inside. So I've just got one of these wax seals that my friend Lisa sent me. It's got a mermaid on with uh, gold touches there with a ticket. And then this is just filled with, we've got a, a, a tag there. And she's got some sari silk and a little tassel. And then I've made a little booklet just out of leftovers on my desk. And it opens like that. You can journal on both sides. Okay. And then we've got just two little... This is just a random picture of a lighthouse that we're in something that um, somebody sent me and then this is from the kit. This is a, 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 a mermaid. Okay, so they're just going there. We've got the wavy stitching again. And this one's coffee dyed. And we've got that, ta that uh, torn edge. And this is the page with the, the writing on about the little mermaid. So that's nice. And I like how on this page, because this page is smaller than that one, we've got the wavy sew in there. And then it's like we've got another row of it there. Um, that's all been sponge inked. And again, we've got the wavy sewing. And here I've created a pocket from one of the pages. Just ripped it again using my new ruler. I'm ripping everything with it. I think it's ace. I've added some pearls to a hair and we've got this little cluster here. These don't come out, they're glued on and they're all pearled. And it says there are times when solitude is better than society and silence is wiser than speech. I wouldn't know about that because I'm never quiet. Journaling card and then that is the tag with the same image with some lovely fibres. Okay, And then this is the centre of the signature which has been, I've double sewn it um, so that it's nice and strong. And then these beads are just loose, so they just dangle down the middle and then dangle down the spine so that whoever has it could use these as like bookmarks. 
Okay, so they're not glued or attached, you can take them out. This is the large, um, how many pockets? One, two, three, four, five. So five pocket tag, isn't it? So we've got a pocket there with just two little journaling cards. It says the Little Mermaid. We've got a pocket there. That's just a journaling tag. I've had some lace. And pocket there. And then there's a pocket in the back. And then in the side here, we've got a journaling card. And this is a from vellum. You can see the mermaids in the background. And it's got sequins. It's a shaker. And it's all been sewn. So that's just a bit of fun. So that slides in there. I did do a video on how to create that five pocket tag. It is in my videos. And again, we've got the wavy sewing. More lace. Left that one plain. This is another digital image. And again, because of the way that I've shortened that page, we've got like two layers of the wavy sewing, which I love. Okay. Left a few pages just plain for, for actual writing on. Okay, but they've all been sponged and sewn. And, and then here we've got a, a, um, a little envelope flip, so it flips out like that. Again, I've um, inked it all, and we've got... Um, oh, I keep forgetting its name. Bubble wrap printing, we've got some pearls there. This is fussy cut shells, a little... This is, again is out of the gesso, uh, not gesso, bushes. So we've got random different colours there. And then I've added a ticket, a banner, sorry. And then that slides in there and uh, that just layers over. And then the, the other side of it here is the rest of the envelope. So I've folded that envelope over and this makes another little tuck spot. So I've made this. It says sail in the direction of your dreams. Bit of stamping. We've got an, uh, an anchor and then here I've got another tag that I made with some fibres. Okay, so that tucks is a tuck spot and a pocket. And then on here is the little seaweeds and a little seahorse. These are die cuts. I um, made some patterns with brushes, some lovely inker patterns and then use that cardstock and cut those out. Took me ages to make those and it's just a bit of seaweed. Um, so this is one of the digital images from the kit and uh, it comes obviously straight and I've fussy cut all the way around the edge of the pattern of the print um, just to give it a bit of interest. I've added pearls where it's meant to be like fish bubbles. We've got a bit of stamping going on there and in there is an envelope from the kit with that lovely image, there's, there's something in it, there isn't anything in that. It says the voice of the sea speaks to the soul. So I've left it empty so you can fill it with your own, you know, memory things. So that goes in there. Get in your slipper little sucker. There we go, that goes in and then it's held on with a paper clip, jewelled. Okay, and on the other side we've got some more of that nautical rope. And we've got a double tag here, uh, which opens for journaling. Okay, and that goes on there like that. With that paper clip. More sewing. Another image. I love that image. Um, another plain one. This is, I've used a page from the um, kit to create this that opens out. So we've got some baker's twine with a little... Dangle on. This is a journaling card that I've layered up. I think I printed it on card and then a sew, uh, using a sewing machine we've got the word notes and that just opens up for writing. It's all sponged. I think that was just a plain background page that I used. Okay and then it will obviously tie back up. So I've tried to make it a bit interactive. It's a beautiful beautiful kit to work with. The colours are stunning. Um, it's one of the kits that's been in Andrew's shop for quite a while. It's not one of the new ones and I just thought I wanted to um, go back and try some of the other kits. Um, so the, another one, we've got another cluster there. Another distressed edge. I've lost count of how many pages we've got. This is the other side of one of the envelopes. I've added a pocket from the kit. We've got a journaling card from the kit in there. 
on the pocket and then obviously the envelope is also a pocket and so we've got this tag with some of the story on and then <laughs> oh, that's the back there with all of my um, modelling paste and my inky um, messy crafting and then on this page here we've got a lovely paper clip that I've made using one of the tickets we've got the word admired and some pearls and I've added a pearl dangle there so that holds this on so this envelope here is tucked in there so I've left that empty for you to put something in and then we've got um, a large tag there and we've got room in the back there for something and this basically then all opens out for journaling but then when you fold it back up you can put that on there you could write under there and then the, the flap of the envelope just goes on there and then we just hold it all so it's kind of like a bit of a secret journaling spot I suppose and then let's put the See if I can get that back on. There we go, and that holds it, just holds it closed with that paper clip. And then on here we've got another pocket, and I've added another cutout from the bits of ephemera that you're given in the kit. I've put pearls in here, and we've got the lovely tag there. Okay. And then on here I've got another glassine bag that I've um, stamped and inked. We've got bubbles, we've got journaling cards, it's just cute. Um, and then this was my kind of attempt at a mixed media page. <laughs> so we've got lots of stamping. I fussy cut her on. Um, with, we've got a bit of gesso on there. We've got a bit of modelling paste. We've got some sari silk. And it says mermaid wishes and starfish kisses. Okay. And then the back page is just sponged like that. And I've added an off cut of William Morris there on the bottom. Because it was hanging about on my desk. And like I say, I use what I've got. And then this is just the back page of Left It Plain. Haven't added pockets because I just think there's enough going on. But I have tied this um, organza ribbon round so you could always sl slip things in there. Move the organza ribbon central and tuck things behind if you so desired. So she's quite chunky and she's very, very touchy-feely. We've got lots of fibres hanging and we've got lots of softness going on there she's lovely um so there you go um she is for sale if anybody's interested get in touch uh when i've took some photos i might put it on my etsy but if anybody does want to buy that um do do get in touch um and uh, we'll get that on its way to you so um don't forget to check out the links below give me a thumbs up um a like a subscribe and uh, follow my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you all soon. And sorry if I rambled a bit. But it takes a long time to show a journal. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.